So the quick flash uh, routine, I'm asking students to take time to quickly look at a image that's flashed before them. And um, just I try to identify characteristics of a shape um, and then quickly jot it down, give it another few seconds to look at it again, uh, correct anything they're thinking, and then finally leave it up for people to fix their work and then talk about it. How did people remember the shape? What did, what did people do? Draw six lines. What do you mean six lines? Do you want a point? Go ahead. Please give your attention so you can see the approach she is. Well, I saw six lines, and I drew the six lines to remember how to draw it. Can you show me the six lines? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so she saw the six lines and remembered the six lines. Did anybody have a different approach? Can you go up? Do you want to go up or do you want to just sit and talk? All right. I split this in two, and I basically draw two lines and one across, and then I do the same thing on the upside. I could draw one. Uh, did everybody hear her approach? Yes. Okay, if she splits that in two, does anybody know what that makes? Two trapezoids. It makes two trapezoids. Does everybody see that? So that might be an approach you could use next time. Because you know. I agree, trying to do six lines is really tough. But if I divide this in half like we've been working on, it makes two trapezoids, and I can start with a straight line and then try it. So the warm-up uh, lesson today was a quick flash uh, routine that we started with um, dots, uh, working on um, subitizing dots and um, formations of numbers in earlier units. And now we switch to shapes with the um, switch to the geometry focus. So my goal today was that they were able to see a shape uh, in their mind, figure out some of the characteristics or attributes, and then um, use those characteristics to then re replicate the shape on a piece of paper. And then hear peers talk about their approach so they hear other ways of seeing the shape and visualizing it and, and looking up components of it. I think a perfect example was the student that took the hexagon today and drew a line across to make two trapezoids, and that was an easier way to remember it.